Hello, my name's Harry and I'm an industrial designer and industrial design student. And this is the third part in my industrial design sketching series. In this part, we're going to be looking at how to build presentation sketch pages and put together sketch pages using underlays, which is building on from the last video about sketching confidence. That video was all about putting down your lines more confidently and how to practice that, and also about how to use underlays to improve your sketching. We're going to be expanding on that by putting our underlays to use in a bit more of a real scenario, building sketch pages that you might use a little bit further on in the ideation phase to start to group concepts, or maybe even start to share them internally in, in sort of different design directions, or in fact with clients, just as an early way to show the sort of slightly more refined concepts. But as I said, we are expanding on a previous video. So if you haven't watched that one, please go and watch that one first before starting this one. I was going through my analytics the other day and found that only 9% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you are enjoying the content, please uh, consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime. I do make videos based off of the engagement that I get. So if I see you guys enjoying them and, and finding them useful and engaging, then I'll make more videos. So what are presentation sketch pages? Well, I'm gonna go through a few that I've done already in the past, just to show a few different types. Hopefully so then you can get an idea of the sort of thing that we're going to do today. So the first one is more about sort of showing off different concepts and different variations of a concept in one page, nice and clearly, nice and grouped. You can kind of quite clearly see the progression there. This kind is more about showing off different views, maybe a detailed view and some of the sort of details of the concept as clear as you can. And then the next one is pretty similar to that. It's about showing off some different views and maybe detail, describing a concept the best way you can in one page. So how are we going to explore making our sketch pages better? Well, this isn't your usual design sketching tutorial. I don't want you to follow along exactly what I do. I actually want to see what you guys can come up with on your own. So through the video, we're gonna be following these tasks and I want you to just go wild and pick a theme that you feel most excited about sketching. So we're gonna start off by picking that theme to sketch. I'm gonna do backpacks because that's what I'm feeling, but by all means, pick something else and go a bit wild with it. We're then gonna make a quick mood board to explore some visual language stuff. We're gonna then quickly rough out some initial sketching ideas and then pick one of those ideas to refine as a presentation sketch page. So hopefully you have something individual that you can be proud of by the end of this video. So once you've chosen your theme, just pause the video quickly and grab some images together, whether that's by printing them out or putting them into Procreate or something like that, and just make a quick mood board that could help inform the visual language of the sketches that you're going to do. We're now going to start with some really rough thumbnail sketches to just start to inform our presentation sketch page that we're going to do later on. This is a sort of simulation of maybe the first phase of the sort of ideation process, obviously sped up quite a bit just for the purposes of this video, but we're just gonna be quite loose with these sketches. I've sped it up just, just for your viewing pleasure. And you can see that I'm not really being too precious about them. The point is to just get the ideas down on the page as quickly and descriptively as possible. You can see I'm trying to be quite confident with my lines, trying to get it right first time not really worrying about whether they're going to make the final cut or not because that's the point we're going to use our mood boards that we made to sort of inform what these visual directions sort of look like so make sure that you keep referring back to your your mood board that you just made as well for the rest of the video i'm just going to sort of chime in whenever we move on to the next task so i'm going to let the sketching roll and then i'll see you when we get to the next part of the task
So now we're finished with drawing our thumbnails based on the visual direction from the mood board. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a background to bring them off the page and set them off quite nicely. I think I'm liking the one in the bottom right and I'll probably name that and take that into the next phase of the video. So referring back to the last video, once again, we're going to start to make some underlays that will help us make our final presentation sketch really nice and clean. The point of this presentation sketch is to get someone excited about the concept and show it quite concisely, but in a way that they can understand the form and, and sort of the reasons behind why we've chosen it in one page. So we're gonna start sketching some underlays to help us just make sure that we get it looking really nice and laid out properly and make sure that we can make our final lines really confident by sketching over these underlays. You can see that I've chosen the idea from the thumbnails that was in the bottom right. I'm just starting to sort of rough it out and create it, um, just using sort of perspective lines to get a real rough idea of the form in 3D and I'll use this to make a bit of three quarter view that shows off the product um, in a nice sort of 3D way. I'm being really rough with these lines because they don't really matter if they're not perfect because we're only gonna use this as an underlay. What really matters more is that I get something um, that I like and that I'm happy with and that the form and proportions are okay so we can then use this as a successful underlay to make our final sketch. Also not gonna add like all the details for the design because there's no point of doing that right now because all we're doing is making a bit of like a rough underlay. That will come later on uh, when we're doing the more final sketch. And once again, I'm just going to let the sketch enroll and I'll come back in when we move on to the next part. So now if you're happy with your three quarter view, we're going to move on to a detail view. So think about a part of your design or your product that you really want to zoom in on and show off to the person that's looking at the sketch page. Think about a part that can really help describe your concept and why it's worth taking forward to the next phase. And then we're going to sketch that in a more sort of zoomed in, close up detail um, to help describe the concept better. I'm just making a couple of underlays for this just so I make sure that I get it right and I'm just sort of roughing it out and then going to go in and add a little bit more detail before we move on to the final sketch. Once again I'm being quite loose with this as you can see I'm trying to get my lines down quite confidently and concisely not being too messy with it 
um, so you can actually see the concept um, starting to come out in the sketch. So now we're going to move on to constructing our final sketch page. This is where you want to be the most confident with your lines. You don't want to be feathering them. You want them nice and confident, just like we looked at in the last video. Try and get this right first time, but if you don't, it's okay. You can always just go back and start a fresh page and reuse your underlays. But this is where things are gonna get a little bit more detailed. Maybe you'll start adding some more bits on that you didn't in your underlays, things that you think could help describe the concept in this final page and get whoever's looking at it excited about what they're looking at and hopefully in a way that they understand what they're looking at as well, because that's what you want to do, be able to describe the concept nice and concisely in one page. You can see that I'm trying to be quite fluid with my lines, keeping them quite clean. I'm not feathering them up or sort of doubling them up. I'm just trying to keep it as clean and nice as possible. This is where you can start to add in more details that you wouldn't have put on your underlays, you know, whether that's branding or material details, stitching, things like that. Um, this is the place to put it on so that you can describe your concept the best you can. You can see there I'm adding a little bit of stitching just to try and make it a little bit more realistic so that it looks like a soft good and adding the pockets there and then I do like to put a little bit of branding on some of, some of my concepts just to sort of bring them to the real world a bit more. I chose Nike for this one because I think it sort of suits their all conditions gear stuff. And then now as we move on to the three quarter part of our sketch page, we're gonna add in that underlay that we made earlier and pop that behind. You can see that by using marker pad or um, this sort of bleed proof paper, you can see through it quite nicely and it lets those underlies, underlays shine through. So yeah, you can see that I'm just trying to be quite smooth with my lines and confident. Just going for it, honestly, I think is the best thing. You don't want to be feathering them or sort of nervous. Oh, you see I made a bit of a mistake there, but it's fine. You can always cover it up and just double it up using a thick and thin lines. And just like the detail view, you can see I'm adding more detail that wouldn't be on the underlay just to make it look a bit more realistic. Just keeping those lines nice and smooth. Importantly, using the proportions of my underlays because I know that they're right. Just trying to make it look quite fluid as well i think that there's something quite exciting about a sketch that's quite dynamic and fluid although it doesn't look real i think that um, in this day and age we can jump to sort of cad and renders really quickly um, too quickly at times so something like this at this stage of the process you know just after your initial stuff where some people might be inclined to get straight into sort of solidworks and key shot Something like this is a bit less intimidating and you know, having that handcrafted feel can, can really show the sort of effort and thought that you've put into this, that everything's considered. And I really do think that the value of, of these sort of nice sketches, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's invaluable really. So I'm just gonna keep on adding detail here, as you can see just working to my underlay, adding bits that I think are needed.
and adding detail or stitching and things like that just like we did with the detail view as well just to bring the concept to life a bit more and, and make it quite interesting to look at And then I always like to add a bit of a drop shadow to sort of bring it off the page, make it look a bit more 3D. But um, I think we're just adding the last few details here now. Bit of a zipper. Just keeping the lines nice and smooth, as we said. Thickening up some of the places where um, you might not see some of the other sides. And some padding. And yeah, just beefing up some of those lines on the outside. Just to bring it off the page a bit more. It's never too late to add some more details to your detail view that you've sort of come up with. And maybe um, if you've got moving parts, add some arrows, that's the place to do it. And then we're just going to grab our initial thumbnails and pop one of those on the top there. Um, I think adding a adding a sort of thumbnail or a front view can be quite nice to sort of tell the story and the journey of how it's how the products come come along from just an initial sketch. So maybe this is slightly more refined than the initial one you did. So just trying to be quite confident with those lines again, but maybe not as rough as the initial concepts ideas that we did earlier on but still quite loose and sketchy. I think that's the style that we're going for. Quite unintimidating and familiar. Hand-drawn, it's quite nice sort of aesthetic for these sort of things. You can see now the sketch page is starting to come together quite nicely. We've got a few different views on the page and hopefully telling sort of the story of the concept quite nicely across across different views so that someone could look at it and sort of instantly understand the form. I think that's what's most important here really. And then for finishing touches, we're just going to add some sort of grids to the page, I guess, to give the page some structure, maybe to sort of add, I guess, some layers and depth to the page as if they're sort of on these backgrounds or sort of panels. Um, this is just something that's quite nice to do that I, I like to do with all of my sketches. I think it just finishes it off quite nicely. So you've got this well-rounded thing that you could 
you could use or you could have a few of for say like if you were drawing three concepts across three different pages you can keep it quite nice and consistent with this sort of panelled style. It's quite friendly and familiar, almost sort of constructed like a comic book. Um, but yeah, it just sets off the sketches from the page just quite nicely, as you'll see here, as it's starting to come together. And then, of course, name your concept and label your concept if you want to develop any of the other concepts from your initial sketches, maybe pick another two. That would be uh, really great because then you've got a nice range in these lovely sketch pages to show off. You might also label some of the, the details and key features in your detail view or across the concept as well. But um, I think we're pretty much there with the, the final sketch. So there we have it. We've constructed a sketch page with three different views using underlays that we've developed from the last video. We've used our mood board to inspire the visual language of the concepts that we've created and then presented it in a sketched way that is concise and easy to understand and hopefully describes the form in one page, which is brilliant. There is going to be a part two to this video where I come back and add some marker and render this up nicely. So make sure to stay tuned for that and keep an eye on the channel for when that video drops next. But hopefully you've got something individual now that you're proud of and that you're happy with. So the last thing is to give it a share. Make sure that you tag me and I'll give it a share as well. It'd be great to see what you guys have come up with from today's video. So that's it for today and I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful in any capacity whatsoever. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing as it's free and it shows to me that you guys want more content and then I'll make more videos. But otherwise, all the usual stuff, go follow me on Instagram and, and all that. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.